an easy one, Patrick. Uh, just wait for someone to come out, and then you'll know. Maybe we should wait for one more. I still can't read the sign! I want to go home! I shalom, Mike. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash. I'd like to give the honors to the pots and elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say shalom to the elect that Jesus were in our true faith and sincerity. And yeah, man, as you can just see, just those two clips I played, you know, further proves that, uh, you know, this is the most wickedest kingdom ever erected, man. You know, spearheaded by Babylon, the, the most sickest place in the world, man. You know, where weakness is the norm. Well, you know, uh, pretty much, matter of fact, let's just get it. Let's, let's start off with this in the book of Job. Because, hey, this is the land of darkness. The people are covered in gross darkness, man. You know? And it started by the way of a mindset. They implanted some of your mind to think that this shit is cool, man. You know, through their through their laws and their legislations, what they put on the on the TV. You know, the different trends they set forth. And this what you come out the oven with, man. You know, so this is the book of Job ten and verse twenty one. Before I go, whence I shall not return. Meaning here in America, because we really just passing through. We not supposed to make our bed here, man. We just pilgrims, man. You know? It says, even to the land of darkness and the shadow of death. See? This is the land of darkness. Of the misinformation and disinformation, you know, that's on display. Because these, pe these people are in, in obscurity, man. They don't know what's going on. It's the end of the shadow of death because pretty much death is all around. Death is everywhere. You know, all the way down to, you know, uh, dealing with these, you get, you get in the damn car wreck. To just, you start just a thought in your mind. You know, now you are, you, you are, you're a homo, man. That's death. But that's what this place promotes. And it said the land. So it's, a, it's the headquarters where these things uh, uh, come from, which is here in America, man. You know, where did food eating contests come from? This came from this place, leggings. You know, uh, even though, you know, you had them Hamites, they were the first uh, homos. But who took it there? Who really took it all the way there? The Edomites. Here in America, man. You know? It says, a land of darkness, see that land again, as darkness itself, and not a shadow of death, without any order, see? There's no order in this place, because now it's to the point, you can't distinguish male from female now. Ain't no order, just going back to the clip, the little Spongebob clip. This nigga didn't know what bathroom to go to. Don't you see that today, man? There's no order. There's no standard. This place have no morals, man. That's why it's also known as a valley. It, 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 it have it, it's, it's low morals, a low morality. You know? It says, it says, without any order in where the light is, there's darkness. So what precedes light and true knowledge is really darkness. And it tells you how great is that darkness. If you think you know where you're going, you know, how great in the dark are you, man? Which these people, it tells you they are in gross darkness. Matter of fact, let's get that. This is the book of Isaiah 60. Hey, man, this is the secret place in the world. Hey, none, you know, uh, you can't put nothing past this, man. You thought the worst thing in the world was a man getting pregnant. And they took it a step further. You know, and some things you just, you don't even want to speak about that you know, you know, uh, no, you know, uh, uh, you know, because we, you know, uh, tells you in the garden, we was pretty much oblivious to wickedness. You know, telling Adam and Eve was naked. And it was the serpent that brought in the 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 uh the wickedness. He the one that was breaking down the, the forbidden, you know. 
death. Pretty much to sum it up. He was, yeah, you know I mean, introducing us to death, man. And now you seeing death at, at his at his height. On all levels. Not just a nigga dying in a shootout, but just a thought process. They ways of life it instantly leads to death. This is Isaiah 6 and 2, 4. Behold, see men and look. Because it's going to get to the point you're going to see. It's like you really ain't got to break down where Babylon is. Who, you know, is, you know where is Babylon? You ain't got to break it down. Now. The only thing I do is look and examine all these countries and measure to what the scripture is saying. And they're going to always go back to here in America. Now. It says, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. See? It has got it has covered the earth. So this man influence has reached throughout the planet Earth. Like I said, now you got you got uh uh Ismaelite women wearing leggings, man. You got homosexual Elamites. You got Moab with a three-piece suit on. You got a McDonald's in Egypt. But where did it stem from? Here in America. This this tree was the root is here in, in this place. And it helped grew and it and it covered the planet Earth. It shadowed the planet Earth. You know? It says, it says, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness to people. See, these people are in gross darkness. Which when you go into it, that word gross means unpleasant. You know, they they pretty much they sin. In a in, in a in a cesspool of wickedness, man. Like uh, just you know, you got the alphabet people, you got the BLM, and they they sit in a cesspool of wickedness, man. Just a nigga that that love pork, he's in a cesspool of wickedness, man. But where did it stem from? This place, which who, who what nation is behind it? So called white man, and that lets you know this is the nastiest nigga in the world. Esau, cause he got it. he he get a lot of his 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 uh things from these other former nations, that was before him. You know they they they, they take a lot of these customs from Ham, which Ham is a, is a is a sick man, but Esau took it a step further, man. You know, it says, but the Lord shall rise upon thee, and His glory shall be seen upon thee. See, and that's the mercy of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. Us getting this knowledge to escape. The Lord pulled us out of this place, man. You know, we was consumed uh, by Babylon, but the Lord, through His mercy, by the way of His word, we was able to cut, cut our way out of this net, man. You know, but this is the sickest place in the world. Don't you see it? You know, and that's why, matter of fact, one of the titles of this place is what spiritually Sodom, because hey, even these Sodomites. What, what, what cringe at what these modern day sodomites to do you know they are blessed they'll be so uncomfortable you know seeing the acts of today man you know um, Revelation 11 and 8 and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city what's that great city America which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt see Cause this, this is the same spirit as Sodom, man. This is the actually the real Sodom, because it tells you. Matter of fact, let's get this real quick in the book of Second Peter two, Second Peter two, and verse six. It said, "And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly." See, so that lets you know. It was gonna be a whole. It was gonna be Sodom was, and you know that that spirit's gonna once again be erected in the planet Earth, on a bigger scale. It's on a global scale now, man. That was just a region, the Lord. You know, that was just the the, the small. Uh, that, that was a smaller scale of what the Lord's gonna do in this time, man. But this is this is this this thing is global, man. But where did it stand? Where did the the, the influence come from? I tell you that this man Tom walked through the Earth, man. You know, you know, a lot of niggas like to talk about they voted for Obama, but it was this nigga, man, that you, through this nigga, Jake, you know, uh, st then, then, then they status didn't move, but those homos did. Them homos, they jumped to the top on the, the banner of Obama, man, you know.
And it has gotten worse over time. Not biting anything. You know? But you see that this, this hey, what that nigga Biden said, you know, uh, uh, eight year old can get his rod chopped off, man. Do this place need to continue? Hell no, man. It needs to be destroyed. And that's what happened to Sodom and Moore. That's why now we, uh, uh, part of the, the, the ministry is telling you that America going to be destroyed by missiles, man. That's the same, that's fire coming from the sky, you know? That's the same, that's the, that's the proper judgment for a bundle of sticks, man. You know, but it says making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. So that lets you know it was going to happen again, but it was going to be on a bigger scale. And we seeing it. We seeing it now. You know, the world is full of homos, man. But it stems from here in America. And it all started by a mindset. That, that, that cup of Babylon, which is what? Democracy. That's sick. That's a, that's a, that's the na that's the nastiest drink you can drink. Democracy. What's that? This is um yep. Uh, Revelation 17. I started at three. It says so he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and they saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten arms, and the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. See. And that's time out of America because it can be presented to the naked eye as glo uh, so-called glorious. Oh, that's why they call it the golden city. You know? Because you see the lights and you could, you got running water and TVs and stadiums and, you know? But what's behind that? It says, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of a fornication. And what's that? Democracy, man. Because once that's once that's in your country, you better be might as well be looking for these pride walks soon for uh women's liberation. You know, TLM with they uh trans live, you gonna see all that, man. It stems from with democracy. With that, that's a that's a that's a mindset. Cause you go into that word government, it pretty much goes into mind control. So the laws and legislations dictate how, what the person, how, how the, the citizens going to think. No attention as the ruler of the city is, so are the people. Because the ruler sets the laws and legislation. And we know Esau Eden, so-called white man, this man is a natural homo. Because we seeing it play out now. He ain't, he, ain't, he ain't got laws condemning it or banishing it. This man got laws to give him freedom and, and, and took a step further in protecting him. You know, this is the sickest place in the world, man. It says, and upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great. See, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth, see. So she's the forerunner of the, uh, of the abominations of the planet earth, man. She the one that kicks, kicks it off, man. This sick-ass place, man. And that's why, what else... What else needs to happen but destruction, man? You know? So, matter of fact, let's get this in the book of, um, the book of William Solomon 14. Because it all starts with a mindset. It all starts with a mindset. Worship with these other items. That's why, the, that's why the niggas just said, you, freedom of religion. Now it just, they just call it rights now. You know? They just call it rights. So let's get this. Um, this is the book of, matter of fact, I'm going to kind of jump in this. This is Wisdom Solomon 14 and 9. For the ungodly and his ungodliness, see, are both alike hateful unto the most high. So you got the ungodly is the source of the ungodliness. He's the plug for wickedness, the so-called white man. You want to do whatever the hell you want to do, we'll come to America. Or go, go to these other countries. That's pretty much they got a McDonald's down. Which that's that's a baby of America, you know. If it's a McDonald's down, you know, you can do what the hell you want to do. But you see the ungodly and his ungodliness, so it's the source. It got to be the source of something. Somebody got to start the trend. Which that's the so-called white man. He's the problem on the planet Earth. And the, and the throne of the so-called white man is America. So that's why this this whole landmass is going to have to be wiped off the map, man. 
you know. So matter of fact, let's jump down. Um, yeah, verse 12. It said, for the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication, see, and the invention of them, the corruption of life. Yeah, see, because these different idols is really a different mindset. So that means that's a different walk of life. That's why I said for the the invention is is the corruption. You gonna your life is gonna be defiled now. You know. Now since you believe in Jesus now, you can eat pig feet. Your life is is being corrupted now. Ten years down the line, your foot got cut off. Why? Oh, because you believe in Jesus, and your way of life led to that. You know, and you see a lot of aunties and grandmas suffer that. You know why? Because they uh, is believing in that idol. And it led to them getting their foot cut off. How much more a homo? You know, an adulterer. You know? But well, ultimately, somebody stepped back and opened fire on you. You know what I mean? Well, that's all based on a mindset. You hearkening to a, a certain idol. You know, so matter of fact, let me jump down. We can end off on this. Um, this is the verse 23. It says, for while they slew their children in sacrifices or used secret ceremonies, uh, ceremonies or made revealings of strange rites. See, and this is all under the banners of, uh, of an idol, worship an idol. What you got now, you know, um, uh, people slaying their children, uh, sacrificing their children. That's why there's that, that term kid. Is 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 being made known with dealing with children. Is that turn kid goes back into sacrifice? Was they sacrifice their children just going back to Christmas? You know, it's to the point. You know, you know Santa Claus ain't real. You know that whole story is made up. And when you confront them about it, you know what niggas say? It's for the kids. So they they sacrificing their children, man. Now they growing up being little monsters, and they now they expecting some on December twenty fifth. Or they gonna act the ass, man. You know? But where do it stem from? Here in America. Now you got more bikes with a damn Christmas tree in their house. You know? This is a secret place in the world, man. It says they need, it's like it said, they kept neither lies nor marriages any longer undefiled. See, don't you see that today? It says, but either one slew another treacherously agreed him by adultery and that's very heavy in this time modern time right now here right now a nigga can get a hundred million dollars for rapping about popping another man woman man but where do it stem from here in america who funded it the so-called white man that's why this place need to be destroyed man it says it says so that there reigned in all men without exception blood manslaughter theft and dissimulation corruption unfaithfulness tumults perjury hey and this these are all these are the same things that happen in the time of noah as well man you know these very same thing that's happening in the time of noah it says disquieting of good men forgiveness of good turns defiling of souls and that's every day. It's being promoted every day. Defile your soul. Being a homo. You know. Having these different mindsets. Just letting, you know. Accepting these things. You know. It says changing the kind. You got trannies. Disorder in marriages. Adultery. And shameless uncleanness. Oh, see. And these people are shameless. That's why you got a thing called prior walk. You proud to be a homo. See, back then, it was a as a mental disease, you know. Then you had a thing called down low because they, they you know, back then, you know, the homos had a sense, some form of sense. They still was off, but they 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 was, they knew not to be out, out in the open with it because they'll get their ass beat. But now it's to the point is they shameless, man. They make it known that they, they homos, man. It's to the point you got cross dressers and you know, and that you to say something to them. Why? Because they are protected, man. You don't think this place needs to be destroyed? Sure. You know, it says for the worshiping of idols, not to be named. See, because it don't matter if it's not Yahweh Shemayah Shah, it's death. 
It's that because that is ultimately them idols ultimately go back to another mindset. You know, you ain't got to go by a certain book as a standard or whatever. You got another mindset. You ain't following the ways of your house by some mountain side. You, you really following the idol, man. Even yourself. Oh, I say don't even lead to your own understanding. You know? But it said for the worship and the idols not to be named is the beginning, the cause, and the end of all evil. See? Because ultimately, guess what? The results of you living contrary to the ways of life is what? Death. You ultimately going to die, man. So, matter of fact, I know I said I'm going to end on this. Let's get let's end off on this, the book of Proverbs 7. Because ultimately, it all go back to America, so-called white man. This is where all this stems from. Yeah, you have wickedness, you know, within these other nations. You got these other nations, you know, worshiping these other idols and they bugged out, you know. But under the banner of the so-called white man, this nigga took it to the extreme, man. That's why I said the mother of harlots and the abomination on the earth. She set it off, man. You know? So this is the book of Proverbs 7 and verse... I started at 25. It said, let not thine heart, see, decline to her ways. Go not astray in her path. See, don't let your heart uh, decline to her. So don't downgrade, you know, and go and follow the ways of the so-called white man, the ways of America. And have that same mindset. It says, for she have cast down many wounded. Yeah, many strong have strong men have been slain by her. Yeah, because you probably have somebody with a, a, a strong mind. And eventually, they broke down. And now they incorporated here in America. Now, somehow, they got assimilated in America, man. Why? Because they just took that detour. Now they, you know. It says, her house is the way to hell. Going down to the chambers of Dell, see? Because that's ultimately what's going to happen. You probably... Look like it's going to be uh, sunny all the way down, you know. But you run into a brick wall when these pestilence come, when the sword come, when pretty much mass death, these death angels be released, man. That's going to be the end of your your journey, man, you know. But it all stems from this place, the so-called white man in the mindset he present and package onto you, you know, which is do what the hell you want, do as thou wilt. Which ultimately they're going to lead to your death. So yeah, I can I just hold it edifying. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahushai, Ba'asham Racha Kodash. I like to give double honors to the pastors and elders of Great Millstone. Let us see Shalom to the elect that teach the word in our true faith and sincerity. DTA, Abai Babal. Soon. Very soon.